boom, chicka boom. Boom, chicka boom. Hey, 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 boom, chicka boom. My name is Miss Vicky. Boom, chicka boom. I got some stories to tell. Boom, chicka boom. Some of them are new. Boom, chicka boom. And some you know so well. Boom, chicka boom. So listen up. Boom, chicka boom. And do your part. Boom, chicka boom. Cause all of my stories, boom, chicka boom, come straight from my heart. I said a boom, chicka boom. Let's go. Hello, boys and girls. The story that Miss Vicki is going to tell you today is a bedtime story or a resting story. So you can snuggle down in your covers and just listen very quietly to the story. The name of the story is called The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. <laughs> I want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I, I want to play with my friends. I want to play with my toys. I want to read my books. I want to swing on my swing. Please, please, Mommy. May I stay home with you? Have you ever felt like that sometimes? You didn't want to go to school, you wanted to stay home with your Mommy? Well, Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. And she said, well, honey, you know, sometimes we all have to do things that we don't want to do. She told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first, but you will love school once you start. I'm going to tell you, you're going to make new friends. You're going to play with new toys. You're going to read new books and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. A secret? I wonder what the secret is. Do you wonder what the secret is? Let's see what the secret is. Chester wiped away a tear and he looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? Oh, it's a very old secret said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand? Asked Chester. What's that? Hmm, a kissing hand, boys and girls. I wonder what is a kissing hand? <clears throat> I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand, up his arm, and into his heart. Even the silky black mask 
tangled with a special warmth. Has your mommy ever gave you a hug or a kiss right before you left the house and it just made you feel so good and happy? Well, that's how it felt when his mom gave him a kiss inside of his hand. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now, do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry. When you open your hand and wash your food, I promise you, the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went. Even if he went to school. Just imagine, boys and girls, when you go to school, your mommy's love is right with you, going with you to school. That night, Chester stood in front of his school and he looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and he grinned and he said, give me your hand. What do you think Chester's gonna do with her hand? Chester took his mother's hand in his own and he folded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of his mommy's hand. Remember when she did that to him? And now he's doing it back to his mommy. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye, and I love you. Chester turned and danced away. Remember how he was feeling at first about going to school? Is he feeling the same way now? Or is he feeling better? He's feeling better, huh? Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across a tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss, oh, it filled her whole heart with special words. Chester loves you, it's saying. Chester loves you. So boys and girls, when your mommies and daddies drop you off at school and you're sad, they're sad too because they're gonna miss you while you're at school. So this helped his mommy too to feel better. And there is Chester at school with all of his friends. And there's the kissing hand that he can always remember that even when he's away from his mommy, that his mommy still loves him. All right, it's bedtime. I want you to curl up, lay your head on your pillow, pull up your covers. It's time to rest. Miss Vicki will see you next time. Bye-bye now.